Well, I have finally gotten access to the Model X configurator screen. Uh, while I will not be able to afford purchasing the Founders Edition Model X, uh, I can at least show you all what it looks like. And there's my good old Model S sitting there. My reservation. Now this says signature because of such few uh, Founders Edition cars. Uh, they did not create a completely different configurator just for us. So let's switch over to the profile. Design Studio. And there is the Model X in its signature red. I guess uh, let's start with the paint choices. Uh, you have uh, solid black, solid white. Now the solid black, it just makes it. No, I, I know this is a computer rendering, but uh, makes everything just kind of disappear in. I'm sure it looks better in person, similar to the Model X. Uh, but I think the lack of some sort of nose cone or chrome strip across the front uh, kind of, you know, makes cheapens the look of the Model X. You have titanium metallic. I like the titanium. Midnight silver metallic. Obsidian black metallic. Deep blue metallic. Silver metallic. I like their metallics. Pearl white multi coat. Ooh. I don't like white, but uh, pearl white, at least on the Model X, Model S, looks spectacular. And then the uh, multi coat red, which just about everybody's familiar with, and then the signature red multi coat, which will be. Uh, which is only available on Founder and SIG cars for each model lineup. Let's go down a little. Oh, let's go to wheels. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, just getting over some bronchitis uh, here. Um, let's see. wheels. Now they're giving us two options. I believe the regular, once production, regular production starts, there'll be more choices now. There's a 20 inch silver wheel and then the 22 inch silver wheels. Uh, these are kind of similar to the turbines. There's also supposed to be helix style. I'm not sure exactly what that is offhand. No, interiors, uh, let's just start with the beginning on everything. All right, for seats, uh, they have the ultra white seats. And I want you to notice um, in the seats, there's little perforations. Now on the original SIG Model S's, there are also perforations, uh, which I believe were for uh, more airflow through seats, but then they scrapped the idea of that. Um, so anyways, you have the, uh, uh, the ultra white, which, um, let's put it this way, the, the color on your blue jeans is going to rub right off on these seats. Uh, that's just what happens, the dyes just come off. Now you got the black leather seats, which is my personal favorite. And you got tan leather. And the tan leather also has all the, the, the trim leather and tan too. Same thing with the white. Uh, the trim follows the, uh, the the seat color. Now you have the uh, wood decor. You got dark ash wood decor. Uh, you got uh, figured ash wood decor. Glossy a I can never pronounce this. A beige wood decor. Matte wood decor. 
and carbon fiber decor. I'm not sure if the carbon fiber is real carbon fiber or the fake carbon fiber. Um, never really saw it in person, even on the Model S, so I'm not too sure there. Uh, personally, I like the uh, the monochrome look, all black. Uh, and then let's see, you got the headliners, just like the Model S, the Alcantara, you got the white, and then of course you got the much better looking black. And there is my dream interior configuration. So now that we have, well, let's just uh, external. All right, now that we got that, let's go down. And uh, there's a, just a blown up picture. Model X Founders all-wheel drive, 90 kilowatt signature series P90D, 250 miles EPA estimated range, 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, and 259 horsepower front, 503 horsepower rear, 155 mile an hour top speed. Of course, while towing a, a 5,000 pound trailer down the interstate. Standard equipment. Falcon wing rear doors with built-in sensors for opening in garages of any height. Automatic retracting rear spoiler. Maps and navigation with real-time traffic. Daytime running lights. Power folding heated side mirrors. Front bunk with room for luggage, strollers, or two golf bags. Full-size rear cargo storage for bikes and gear. Free long-distance travel on Tesla's expand a supercharging network, 8-year infinite mile battery and drive unit warranty, automatic keyless entry, GPS enabled home link, parking sensors and blind spot warning, automatic emergency braking, second row seating for three adults and third row seating for two adults. Signature series standard with a series of features to optimize your Model S experience. X experience. Autopilot convenience features with sub parking and automatic lane steering. Smart air suspension with GPS memory. Ultra high fidelity sound with satellite radio. Premium interior and lighting with accent lighting and power lift gate. Ventilated leather seats with heating and cooling, which is something new. That's why the little perforated holes are in the seats. That's the cooling. Basically, it just blows air through the seats, uh, which kind of, you know, takes away that leather seat sweat that everybody kind of gets. Options. Ludicrous speed upgrade, which is normally $10,000. Uh, it's also it's that's included with the Founders Edition. Ludicrous speed decreases the zero to sixty time to three point two seconds, with a quarter mile time of eleven point seven. Sub Zero weather package. Improve cold weather comfort and convenience by adding heating steering wheel, three to zone second and third row seat heaters. So I mean. All the seats in the Model X will be heated, not just the front two seats, or in case of the Model S, the front and the second row seats. Uh, the jump seats in the Model S are not heated. Washer nozzle heaters, wiper, wiper blade defrosters. Tow package, upgrade your Model X with a high strength steel tow bar and removable two inch receiver. Capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds with 20 inch wheels or 3,500 pounds on 22 inch wheels. Software actively monitors tra trailer sway and adjusts wheel braking as needed. Impressive. 
removable 2-inch receiver, 7-pin trailer, electronics harness, tow mode software package, compatible with 2-inch mounted bike and ski carriers. Now, if you don't get that, you can also get the accessory hitch, but it's one or the other. You, don't, you can't get both. Add a factory installed 1.25-inch accessory hitch to your Model X for carrying bikes, skis, snowboards, and more. Compatible with all 1.25-inch hitch-mounted racks. When not installed, a streamlined diffuser plate seamlessly integrates with the rear bumper, and that's optional. So if we were to select that, it would deselect the hitch. And then it just goes on to talk about electric vehicle incentives, gasoline savings, how the calculator works, Tesla leasing deals, and performance. So basically, there's, there's not too many options to select because everything's already selected. Now, uh, apparently fully loaded. Now, Tesla said for the Founder Series, it would be the equivalent of about a $155,000 car. However, it did come up short on that. Um, although I could be missing something here, or there's things that are included that just aren't added on. Uh, you can see the uh, selected options. So there's everything that's selected. Model X signature, 132,000, multi-coat red, 22-inch wheels, black leather seats, dark ash wood decor, black Alcantara headliner, Tesla red brake calipers, ludicrous speed upgrade, autopilot convenience features, premium interior and lighting, smart air suspension, sub-zero weather package, ultra high fidelity sound, and tow package. So basically a fully loaded Model X uh, signature price would have been 143,000. Founders Edition price was going to be 115,500. Then we can, of course, hit order, which I can't because I don't have 115,500. Despite how much I want to upgrade my car, it looks like I will not be able to. Let's just go through uh, go through the pictures again. Let me get those a little larger. Nope. So exterior, side view with the 22 inch wheels. Although I'd probably replace them with 19s for reliability. And they look better. One thing you notice, uh, the seat belts are now built into the seat themselves. Uh, since there is no, you know, with the Falcon Wing doors, there's no archway that the seat belts can be, you know, installed to like on the fronts. Um, I'm not sure, I can't see the rear, so I'm not too sure on that. But that pretty much covers what the current Model X configure, configurator and options are. Of course, subject to change in the future. Uh, we will find out what the future brings. Smile, cheese!